Welcome to the next session of your course. This session is probably the cornerstone for natural nutrition. We mentioned that we work from principles because everything in our universe is constantly changing. And so with hydration and dehydration alert, we're going to be looking to see how we record the messages of the universe within our body and within our cells. Many experiments have been looked at and to see how this actually happens. And we should remember that the human body has the same representation of solid to water as planet Earth does of oceans to land. And we're going to see in this session how if the fluid component of our body, the water, becomes contracted, how the ability to hold the very um, positive and uh, energies of our universe become very garbled and very contracted. And what we want for human potential is the fullest possible expansion to incorporate and embrace everything that's around us. We often refer to water as the liquid crystal from above to below. So it holds that message from the universe, the outer, the macrocosm, into within the cell, our microcosm. But what we have to understand also is that our body never works against us. So in this session, we're going to be looking at a protective process that the body takes on as soon as it feels dehydrated. So this session is all about how our body registers and expresses stress. Remembering that we said the only thing that stops us doing anything is fear. And the principle is that any kind of stress is registered on the water component of our body and it registers as dehydration. And as soon as the body feels dehydrated, it's expressed as stress. The Chinese, with all their wisdom, know that fear and stress are held on water. That's the water element. And that um, looks after the brain and the central nervous system. They also know that if the resonance of the stress, whether it's a job you don't like, or whether it's an unresolved emotion, this will be registered on the water. And if that emotional stress or any kind of stress is there for two years, then there is always a manifestation within the water component as dehydration. So that stress will, after two years, create a contraction of our ability to be in tune with our universe. There have been several ways, particularly of late, where people have produced experiments just showing water's ability to hold messages. And one of the um, most colourful, perhaps, is the rice experiment, because you'll see as we move through the course that short grain brown rice is actually the food of the colon, which is the organ that holds the message whether we're dehydrated or not. And this scientist decided that he would cook short grain brown rice and he divided it into three glass jars. The first one he left aside and that was the control. The second one he hurled abuse and negative thoughts towards it whenever he could. The third one, he loved and nurtured and gave extremely positive thoughts to all the while. And this went on over a period of 10 days. And when he then looked at the short grain brown rice in the jars, the control was fermented. And it was so fermented that you really wouldn't want to eat it. The abused one was dry, dark and hard, and absolutely no way would be edible.